Hey everyone, Andy here from VapeCritic.com, and today I have an exciting look and review for you of the new IQC from DaVinci Vaporizers lineup. The IQC is DaVinci's more affordable answer to the IQ2, with a few slight changes in functionality and design. So a quick backstory for you on DaVinci. They were founded in 2011 and are located right here in the USA, which is sweet. They have a reputation for making some handheld vaporizers that pump out some epic vapor and come in some really beautifully designed packages. DaVinci currently has the IQ2 and the Micro in their lineup, with the newest addition being the IQC. Now the IQC lands in the middle of the IQ2 and the Micro, however I'd argue it's more closer on the spectrum to the IQ2, and for that purpose I will be mainly comparing it to the IQ2 in this review. The IQC is very similar to the IQ2, it has a few changes and a reduced price tag though, so let's dive in and see what it's all about. So let's check out the sweet crimson red IQC that I have. It has a very similar setup to the Micro and the IQ2 if you're already familiar with the DaVinci line. Opening up the mouthpiece, we can see it exposes the battery door here. This battery door can be tricky, so when you open it to replace your batteries, just make sure you have the latch pulled back before you try and close the door. That way, when you release the latch, it will secure the battery door like so. Here, I'll show that to you one more time. So one of the new additions to the IQC, which I am very fond of, is the ShareSafe mouthpiece up top here. This mouthpiece is made of antimicrobial polymers that are meant to inhibit the growth of microbes on your mouthpiece, making it a little bit safer to share. However, I still recommend cleaning your vape and your mouthpiece specifically when sharing it. It's just a safe thing to do. Now one thing that varies with the IQC is the included extended water pipe adapter that comes with the vape. With the IQ2 and the Micro, you get a zirconia you know, more rigid water pipe adapter, which also doubles nicely as an extended mouthpiece. This silicone water pipe adapter does okay as an extended mouthpiece. However, I think it kind of defeats the purpose of the ShareSafe mouthpiece, so therefore I recommend just sticking with this unless you want to use it through water. However, there is a workaround, and what I like to do for personal use is actually take my zirconia mouthpiece from my IQ2, and it will fit into the IQC, which is nice. You don't need to have an IQ2 to do this. You can pick up one of the Zirconia mouthpieces from DaVinci's website, and I think that looks pretty sweet. The thing is, is none of the extended mouthpieces or adapters are made with antimicrobial properties yet, so it might be cool to see from DaVinci in the future an extended rigid mouthpiece with those antimicrobial properties. And while we have the top open here, you can see the IQC still comes with the handy little tool that DaVinci likes to include in their vaporizers. This allows you to pop out the zirconian glass vapor path for cleaning. This tool is also great for stirring your bowl and cleaning out hot material when your session is done. DaVinci's vaporizers, when properly maintained, can pump out some top-notch vapor. This is primarily due to the zirconia vapor path, which is isolated and can be easily cleaned, and also the ceramic oven. I do want to make sure that while we're on the topic of the vapor path, I address an issue that previously plagued the IQC. It was this small area underneath the flavor chamber, which was very hard to access and clean, and would collect resin. Da Vinci made sure to fix this by removing that area completely from the vape. Now, there are no more undercuts below the flavor chamber, meaning the vapor flows directly from the oven to the vapor path. So let's take a look at the outside. DaVinci keeps it simple once again. You see we have our control button, our up and down temp control buttons, our full size display, like the IQ2, which is very sweet, and our new and improved USB-C port here in the back. USB-C is the standard these days, and many vapes and companies have some catching up to do, so hats off to DaVinci for getting this done on their upgraded vape. So you may be wondering why USB-C is a great upgrade or why people get excited about it, because it doesn't really affect vapor quality, right? Well, the thing is, is that USB-C can help charge your battery much faster. On the IQC, we see a reduced charging time from 6 hours down to about 2.5 to 3. This means you're going to get to enjoy your IQC more often because it's a little bit more efficient and it also charges much quicker. 
Also, DaVinci states you can get an hour of runtime out of the battery on the IQC. However, I think a more accurate description would be seven to 10 sessions, anywhere from four to five minutes. And this will vary a lot on how you use the vape. If I'm using boost mode a lot, or if I'm in a very cold environment, you can expect your battery life to drain a little bit quicker. Now, I just wanted to say, I wanna pause and appreciate the display on the IQC as well. It's full size, just like the IQ2, and it's gotta be one of my favorite parts about the DaVinci lineup. I know it sounds crazy, because it has no effect on the vapor production or quality, but it's just a very nice addition to, aesthetically, you know, to the, to the whole package. The display is clean and responsive, and it's hard to find another portable with this cool of an interface. Now one major way that the IQC differs from the IQ2 here is on the bottom. It doesn't have that adjustable airflow, which I found to be a little bit of a bummer because I'm a fan of customization. For some, you might find the draw resistance on the IQC a little bit too tight for some reason and want that extra bit of airflow if you're coming from a different vaporizer or directly from the IQ2. However, I found like on the micro that it's perfectly adequate and then over time you will adjust to it and just become accustomed to how it works and you know, you'll either inhale harder or less hard depending on what you need to do. So my point is you'll get used to the stock airflow, but pack density can also affect your draw resistance. So make sure you check your oven and your pearl adjustment as well and keep an eye on it if you're having some issues. And since we're talking about the pearl and oven, let's open up the bottom latch here and check it out. When I open up this latch here, we see the beautiful loading dock, as I like to call it. Da Vinci's vapes are designed so specifically and I love how they have this tall rim design for you to pack your urban. This little black piece right here is your adjustable pearl, like I mentioned as well. It's got a few functions, but mainly it regulates airflow and optimizes heat transfer while keeping your herb compact in the chamber. Now one thing that hasn't changed fundamentally on the IQC is the latch design. Although it does look like Da Vinci has updated the mechanism itself that opens and closes the latch. I'll show you a close up on that right now. So just make sure you keep an eye out on these hinges and the latches, make sure that they don't get bent or torqued in any way, so your doors always close properly and your device works how it's intended. Now let's do a little rip analysis of the IQC, because I want to show you how it compares to the IQ2. I'll use the same pack density and temperature, of course, and I'll try and match the draw resistance of the IQ2 as close as I can to the IQC. So as you can tell, you get some really solid rips from the IQC. However, I think for daily use, I'm leaning more towards the IQ2 though, because of the adjustable airflow. Combined with how hard you inhale, it can have a decent effect on the vapor production. And like I said before, I'm just a fan of customization. So I think in this department, the IQ2 wins for me. One feature that is missing on the IQC that's only available on the IQ2 is the on-device material calculator, which is great for medicinal purposes or dialing in the perfect percentages of your material. As far as concentrate goes, both devices are very similar. The IQC can be used for solid concentrate, however you have to purchase the kit separately. The IQ2 comes with it, which is a very nice addition. It makes sense though, because some corners had to be cut, the IQC is cheaper, and if you're a person who is mainly buying it for herb, that's actually a plus because now you're not paying for extra accessories that you probably won't use. Should you run into some hiccups with your IQC or just have any general issues, DaVinci has strong customer support and they have your back with a five year warranty on your IQC. This isn't as long as the 10 year warranty that comes with the IQ2, but five years is still very hefty and one of the leading warranty lengths in the industry. I have yet to pick a favorite between the IQC and the IQ2, although with the antimicrobial mouthpiece and the USB-C charging, I'm leaning more towards the IQC, but I just wish it had the adjustable airflow on the bottom and a more rigid extended mouthpiece. Although you can always buy the extended mouthpiece off DaVinci's website, or if you have an IQ2, you can just swap it over. All in all, the IQC is simply an excellent addition to the DaVinci line and really fills a gap for them. It truly feels like it belongs in the new wave of vaporizers, and I think you'll really enjoy it if you haven't tried a DaVinci Vape yet, or even if you're already a fan of the Micro on IQ2. 
I really look forward to seeing where DaVinci goes from here as well, because the IQC is a testament to their ability to adapt to the new technology of our ever-fluctuating lives. I've really enjoyed hanging out with y'all today as we've gotten to go over the new IQC from DaVinci. It's honestly been a privilege and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you haven't checked out the IQ2 or the micro videos on the channel at this point, you can go check them out because you can now get a full idea of what the DaVinci line is about. Make sure you guys stay topped up on your herb, stay topped up on your H2O, and enjoy your next session for me, all right? Once again, this is Andy from vapecritic.com. Catch you later, vapers.